There are two kinds of people in this world, those who drink and those who don't. Those who don't drink blame the drinkers for all the problems in this world and produce reams of statistics to prove their point. The drinkers retaliate, calling teetotalers spoil sport and party poopers. So while these two slug away, let us focus on what is happening post the Supreme Court directive to ban booze along highways. The Supreme Court has, in an order said, liquor vents within 500 meters of national and state highways will have to shut down from April the 1st. The Excise Department is planning more action, but is already flooded with representations from license holders who claim their outlets do not fall within the 500 meters range laid down by the Apex Court. The numbers tell their own tale, and they are pretty staggering. Hospitality industry would lose revenue to the tune of 65,000 crore of rupees. Over 100,000 people would lose their jobs. Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Kant tweeted that the tourism industry creates jobs. Why kill it? He estimates 10 times over 100,000 people would lose their jobs. While the Apex Court was probably well aware of these figures, but it seems an informed decision was taken in larger interests of safety. Would this ban really put an end to drunken driving or prevent truckers from drinking or really achieve the objective it set out to do? My point is, move by the Apex Court to clear the highways is welcome, but by clubbing hotels, pubs and bars within its ambit has made it veer off course. Every country thrives on its tourism industry to make revenue, so if everything goes dry, then there is no point being sanctimonious about it. Rajasthan has already declared its highways as urban roads and others are following it. Prohibition, in any case, has never ever succeeded. All it does is encourage bootlegging and liquor peddling where spurious liquor find its way out. Yes, I know these are hard calls to take, but why kill the tourism bird in the name of a cleanup? Reeling under this hit, many established pubs, bars and restaurants are now changing the entrance to their properties, making motorable distance more than 500 meters and moving these establishments out of the purview of the SC order. This is happening at the Cyber Hub and Ambience Mall in Gurgaon, for instance. This is in violation of sanction plans, but business promoters are taking this risk as there is no other way for them to avoid the ban. On one hand, jobs will be lost in millions. Tourism would be hit. Promoters of legal businesses who invested crores would now face closure. Is that fair? The non-drinkers retaliate saying liquor is the root cause of all evils. So a new India is taking a fresh path. So there you go. Take your pick whether this is a right move or a wrong one.